हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई न्यू वीडियो माई न्यू एक्सरसाइज इज रिलेटेड टू द थर्ड पार्टी डी एच सी पी सर्वर कन्फिग्रेशन सो एज यू कैन सी इन माई ड्राइंग ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई हैव ऑलरेडी पुट द कमांड्स हाउ टू अप्लाई द हाउ टू अप्लाई द कन्फिग्रेशन यूजिंग द सी एल आई मोड सो दीज कमांड्स यू कैन फॉलो टू अप्लाई द कन्फिग्रेशन ऑन द स्विच साइड सो एज यू कैन सी दैट आई एम यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सर्वर इन माई लैब and uh, the dhcp pool is configured on the microsoft server and uh, this server is a part of a different vlan server is in vlan 101 and the dhcp beneficiary client which is part of uh, vlan 102 so as you can see it's uh, both are uh, different they both are in the different vlans so let's start with the configuration part first uh, with the microsoft server configuration Uh, as you can see that uh, the ip address is uh, 101.1.64 and 254 as a gateway to the server i am using microsoft server 2012 so this is the server side and this is the ip address as per the ppt okay so under the server manager i have to go to manage and uh, i have to click on add roles and feature uh yeah this is a machine and i need only the dhcp yes next 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 restart the destination server mm -hmm. if required yes and install so this process will may take for uh, take a few seconds yeah so the installation is uh, succeeded to complete uh, dhcp configuration either i can click here so commit done yeah so done and close so what i have to do either i can click here or either i can go to tools and click on dhcp so this is the dhcp server configuration window this is for ipv4 and this is for ipv6 so in my case i'm using ipv4 so to create a dhcp pool uh, i have to create the pool for 102.2.20/24 and uh, the pool name is uh, pool v102 so in my case is uh, the vlan id is 102 for corporate lan so right click on ipv4 new scope next and here i have to put the name so next starting ip address is 102.2.1 and uh, 102.2.2.254 let's cross verify with our pool configuration 102.2.2.0 it is correct and uh, subnet mask i have to change it to /24 so this is the exclusion uh, i will exclude the ip address from 1 till 102.2.2. Uh, 100 so the is this inclusion means that the uh, exclusion means that uh, this ip address uh, will not be allocated to the uh, dhcp beneficiaries or dhcp clients okay next uh, next next default router in my case is 102.2.254 okay and uh, next 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 activate scope yes next and finish so as you can see that uh, the pool is configured okay and uh, this is the address pool the complete pool and these are the excluded ip address from distribution from 1 till 100 and as you can see there is no lease till now okay 
so the DHCP configuration on the server side is done okay let's verify the IP address again the IP address is uh, 102.1164 and 11254 uh, okay so it is totally correct as per the drawing uh, let me access the switch my LAN cable is connected to the VLAN 1 and the VLAN 1 on the dealing switch is uh, 1090-1090 in my exercise I'm using DGS 3630 switch so first of all we have to create two VLANs and uh, the VLAN is uh, VLAN 101 apply and the VLAN 102 apply okay uh, now I will create the SVI so the SVI for uh, 101 is uh, apply and then 102 so this is apply okay so these are the SVIs now uh, what I will do I will assign the IP address to this SVIs so the SVI is uh, uh, 101.1.1 and 254 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 apply okay and now I will uh, 102.2.2.254 and 255.255.255.0 so the SVI is created as you can see it is showing down because I have just created the VLANs and I didn't allocate the interface okay so what I have to do I have to allocate the interface to the desired VLANs so first of all I will uh, allocate the interface so the VLAN 102 the VLAN 102 is the DHCP client in my case so DHCP client sorry yeah DHCP client and it's a part of VLAN 102 apply okay and now uh, this VLAN 101 this interface one is the part of uh, VLAN 101 okay so as you can see I lost the connection so I will access the switch in the server now because I changed the VLAN so 101.1.1 .1 .1, sorry 254 okay close close access okay sorry let me change the cable Let me refresh the browser yes so let me show you the configuration what I have done this is VLAN 101 and VLAN 102 as per the PPT they are part of uh, server is part of VLAN 101 and the client is part of VLAN 102 okay and uh, if I show you the details as you can see interface 1 is a part of VLAN 101 and interface 2 is a part of VLAN 102 so everything is correct and if I show you the SVI the SVI is up for the client the cable is not connected for the server so once I connect the cable this SVI will come up okay so what we have to do uh, let me open the Wireshark in my PC run as administrator yes so the Wireshark I have to activate on this uh, USB LAN so if I show you my USB LAN USB LAN is not having any IP address and it's a USB converter 
so this is a mac address and there is no ip address so what i will do i will uh, run and i will apply the filter dhcp and enter so as you can see the filter is applied on the y shark i will close this and i will apply the dhcp configuration so management and uh, dhcp dhcp server and dhcp relay we have to come to dhcp relay relay is uh, enabled so dhcp pool so the pool is uh, in over cases pool b102 as per the server if i show you here is uh, pool hyphen v102 okay and uh, source so the source is uh, according to our requirement the source is 102.220 and if we can see here the source is 102.2.0 so we will define the same source in the server so 102.2.2.0 and subnet mask is 255.255.0 apply so the source is defined now we will go back and we have to configure the destination so in our case the destination is the server so the server ip address is this okay 101.64 i can show you again here is the server IP address which is 101.1.1.64 okay so let me configure I will just false and I will just put the relay destination as 101.1.1.64 apply okay back this is the relay configuration we have to do in the switch so this is uh, source the pool uh, ip address the subnet details and uh, this is the destination which is the server uh, ip address this uh, two things i have done here in the switch source and destination now if you come to this uh, wireshark capture as you can see there is nothing there is no log till now what i have to do in the switch we have to activate the DHCP service so as you can see the service is disabled so I will click apply enable and click apply and done that's it for the switch part uh, as you can see still there is no log because my cable is not connected from the server to the switch part where as I show you last time the VLAN is down so let me connect the cable okay and let me show you the log here okay the server is up and let's try to ping from the server to the gateway so ping 101.1.1.64 server is reachable and if i ping my gateway which is 254 gateway is also reachable okay now let's see the client is receiving ip or not so let's click status there is no ip address so what we will do we will just go to properties and we will just make him obtain easily and I will just make it as automatically and let's see the client is having IP address no uh, let me verify the switch configuration again hold on uh, let's go to the server and from the server we will try to access the switch
and let me see that the firewall is enabled or not windows firewall yeah it is off 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 wait guys let me verify my physical connection yeah sorry guys as you can see that uh, the ip address that is already offered to the client discover offer request and acknowledge okay and if you go to the server if you, this is the server this is the pool and this is the lease okay refresh yeah as you can see this is the mac address okay and if i show you the mac address of the device as you can see 102.221 and uh, here is the default gateway and here is the DHCP server which is 101.1.64 sorry it was a cable issue so close close and uh, let me show you something using the console so as you can see this is discover offer request and acknowledge okay and uh, if I show you on the console of the switch so show run I will scroll up again so what I have done on the switch is I just defined the pool and I had just defined under the pool I have defined the relay source and the relay destination I have created two VLANs this is part of VLAN 101 this is 102 okay and this is the VLAN 101 SVI this is VLAN 102 SVI that's it this is the only configuration I have done on the switch okay and uh, the client received the IP address so that's it for now guys if you have any question please uh, let me know and I will get back to you okay guys thank you bye bye